When working in Blender Beam, you can bring in objects from other IFC models. Here is a quick showdown on how you can do that. Let's go. So starting a new Blender Beam session, let's create a project. I will choose a blank project. I'll keep this default settings and I'll just click on create project. We see we don't have any types, zero types right here. And that means that, yeah, I don't have any object libraries. But if you are following my channel and other Blender Beam content creators, then you might know that there are actually some object libraries within Blender Beam. And let's see how we use that. To be able to access this, we need to go to project library here after we created this. And in the custom library, if we click here, we are going to see more libraries. We see IFC4 EU uh, still, which is this one is from for Europe. Uh, this is the demo library where yeah we have a few things and we have also IFC4 US still. We we see all these uh, libraries are for IFC4. Uh, and yeah, we can see also furniture library. Let me take in this case, we can also see a landscape library. In this case, let's use this one. And here after we choose the library, we are asked to uh, what do we want to use. In my case, I want to see this. I want to take it not by... Uh, I, I think material should be the same, right? Because it's, uh, it's uh, steel. But in this case, it's only this. So let's see what we have here. Now, these are other things. I think this is the type product. Yeah, so after uh, choosing the IFC4 EU steel, we have to go to IFC type product and here we are going to see three types of objects, beams, columns and members. Now let's take a column, for example, and of course, like if you are a structural engineer, these numbers might tell you something. There are some just numbers and elements that are not so descript descriptive maybe for many of us. Let's look if we find also something more like, yeah, he, B, and he, A, these are very popular. And let's take this, this one right here. Let's take this one from here, uh, HEB 100. And now, if you want to bring this in this model that we are working in, pay attention, pay close attention to what's happening here. You need to click on this button right here, which means Appends Library Element. And when we click, we see that we got it into our types. This is how this specific element type has been imported into our model and now when we are saving this IFC project we have it in our file so let's say I need this uh, I need also 140 and 180 and 200 and now let's go back to um, beams and let's also take some beams uh, 120 160 and 80 there we go so we got all these elements right here and now how do we use them right that's, of course, it's uh, quite natural. We have to go to the column or to uh, create a beam element. Let's go to column. And now we see that all these elements that we chose, we imported, we can use them right here. And let's take, for example, an uh, HEB 140. And after choosing that, we click on add. And there we go. This is our uh, object right here. And now let's say that we want also to add a, a beam. We go to the beam element. Let's say is this one create duct. No, it, it's a bit confusing. So uh, let's try again. Where is the beam? Beam, 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 beam. Beam is this one. Create beam. Yeah. Uh, let's choose the same type. I think I used 120 if I'm not mistaken. Okay, there we go. And this is how you can use objects from the library. Now, like I said, if we are saving this project, let's save this. Let's be creative once again and let's call it column IFC columns and beams. There we go. Creative, right? And now If I bring this, let's create first a new space without project. We can see I just resetted Blender. And now if I load it, uh, let's go back and where is it? No, 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 no. What happened? 
No, I saved it in the wrong place. Maybe I saved it here. No, oh my god. Where was it? Recent. Here? Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Let's move this to downloads. There we go. No? Does it? Yeah, no, it was not copied. Uh, no, okay, let's open it from here for now. All right, there we go. And I know you don't believe me, so let me show you how it works also from another tool. Let's take Solibri, for example, because I have this Solibri Anywhere version. And let's see how it looks also in Solibri, so that you can believe me. A few hours later. Open a model. Click here to open model. Let's go to downloads. We have it here. Let's take this one. Okay, it was in Petro, and there we go, IFC columns and beams. And yeah, this it's structural, but it, does, it doesn't matter, it's not so important. What is important is that we have our elements exactly as they are. I, of course, I did not focus on modeling them correctly, placing them exactly and so on. But we can see some data on this object right here. We can see that they are um, column, let's see. Yeah, we can see here IFC information, predefined type, no, not defined, but we can see that what kind of IFC entity is this, IFC column, and uh, this is also a type, right? It doesn't have a name though, uh, and the IFC schema, it's IFC4. Do we have anything else? Let's see, in quantities, oh yeah, we have also quantities, guys, because we have used IFC4. So there you have it, this is how you import elements from existing IFC models and using in the project you are working in right now. If you find this useful, you might also want to have a look at this video right here.